and, and people say, hey, you're violating human rights, and the Israelis say, there's no equivalency between suicide bombings and protecting our security, and the Palestinians say there's no equivalence between suicide bombings and the occupation. Th this is the 35th year of a harsh, brutal, and vicious occupation, supported unilaterally by the United States, constant terror and atrocities. Uh, the, suppose Palestinians say, well, we're under terrorist attack for 35 years, therefore we have a right to carry out suicide Which bombings. Which is what they say. Do you accept this? Does anybody accept it? Nobody accepts it. All right, then how come everyone accepts the Israeli claim to be doing it, which is a much weaker claim? Because after all, there's no symmetry in the situation. They are the military occupiers. Palestine isn't occupying Israel. And this isn't just started now. It's gone on years ago. I mean... So does that, in your mind, justify no, the suicide not, Of course not. It doesn't, it doesn't in anybody's so mind. So it invalidates both sides. Th those who defend suicide bombing, and there are very few... Uh, have not, not, don't have a leg to stand on. Those who defend the Israeli atrocities, including the U.S. government, uh, most intellectual opinion, a uh, good bit of the West generally, 